All right, so our next project is to build some sort of mass gate assembly to keep the sail uh, slugs from falling out uh, when we douse the main. So originally this boat's a bolt rope system, so it's got a fairly wide mouth in order to be able to feed the bolt rope of the sail in. We've since converted the sail over to these mass slugs. Um, what will happen now is that when we douse the main, we'll let the slugs down and or we'll let the main down and the slugs could potentially just fall out of here making a mess and making it a pain to rehoist the main if we, if we needed to, you know, you know, if we just doused it for a short period of time or um, like I said, we leave the boat tied up to a dock or something rather, you know, we'll just cover the main rather than have to remove it. So I, uh, I comp contemplated fabricating something out of aluminum, some sort of mechanical gate assembly, but the more I thought about it, that would require some sort of like fast fastener attachment to the mast and I want to avoid, you know, drilling into the mast as much as possible. So. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is designing and 3D printing a model. So I have a buddy who has a 3D printer he's allowed me to use. So um, I'm going to CAD something up, go over, print it out, bring it back, check it. And, you know, I'm assuming that's going to go back four or five times maybe before we get something that actually works. Um, so uh, what, what this will allow us to do is rather than using a bungee like we have in, in some of the videos you guys have seen to hold this upper slug up, which the downside of that is it, it has a sail up pretty high, pretty high profile anyway. Um, and I want to be able to get the sail down as low as possible uh, when we douse it. So what it allows us to do is when we douse the main, these slugs should you know, go right, right across this piece and then just stack up on top of the gooseneck of the boom. So um, I will begin catting something up and I'll, I'll show you guys kind of the, the revisions and the steps we take to get to a finished product. I'm Anna and this is Ignacio. We along with our daughter Elena and our pup Bay are the new salt selling crew. We are DIYers with a growing appetite for big adventure. Our goal is to DIY and trade our way up to a blue water worthy boat and set sail on an adventure by sea. We are new to selling and plan to develop our selling skills along the way. Subscribe to stay up to date with our progress and adventures. So this is a fairly standard mass profile. I'll list it somewhere up here or here. Anyway, you'll be able to see it somewhere on the screen here. Um, if any of uh, my viewers or subscribers have uh, the similar mass and need some sort of mass gate solution. Let me know once we get to final uh, final design that works and I've tested it. Uh, and you know I could print one and, and send it to you. So just let us know uh, in the comments down below if you can. Um, and don't forget like and subscribe if you enjoy any of our projects that we have going on here. Anyway, I'm gonna go get something catted up and I'll uh, I'll try to show you every single uh, interface how it looks here and then kind of the steps we take to to improve on that and get it to a final product. So here we go.
All right, now we're getting somewhere. This one's looking a lot more promising, so. Pulling out a little bit on this uh, mass slug and seeing if it transfers. So it snags up just a little bit. Uh, I'll have to do just a little bit of transition work um, in my model, but it uh, definitely, it's definitely heading in the right direction, so. Transition is almost there. It's getting close. Oh, and so we're having some issues with the 3D printer um, not keeping the, the material warm enough while it's printing. So we're getting this little bit of separation. Um, doesn't necessarily affect the design at the moment, but the final product obviously that's not acceptable so uh, for modeling we're just kind of like fine-tuning the uh, the 3d printer settings uh, for this material as it's uh, it's printing and just kind of seeing what works and what doesn't and you know hopefully by the time we get to something that actually works in the mast um, we'll have the the material settings figured out for this And that is working really well so you know looking at it so looking at it it doesn't seem like that would actually work you'd think it'd snag up but that's just due to the the profile and the taper of these uh mass slugs it, it actually is is working quite well um so what we're going to do next is i, I am going to fine tune this a little bit and try to you know put some sort of radius on this edge so it closes this gap but what's going to end up happening is i'm going to print two pieces very similar to this that will basically stay in there permanently as long as I'm not removing the gooseneck um, for the boom. And if I am, then I, I can leave the upper one in. I'll just have to take the lower one and the, the center piece out. So what we'll do is there'll be two of these pieces and then a center piece that snaps in uh, and snaps back out whenever I want to you know, take the, the sail completely off the boat. So anyway, we'll uh, do a little bit more design work and see where we get from here. All right, back in the shop. This is day three. Um, not full days of, of other things going on, but quite intense uh, days of design work and printing and design work and printing. But this is day three, and I've I kind of went a little bold, and I only tried one different thing, and I've actually printed the entire assembly. So the way this one's going to work is it's, it's got a little bit finer transition, and then it's got this neck that actually feeds up into the non-tapered portion of the track. Uh, I'm hoping that that acts as, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you'll see it in the model. It has a, a pretty good uh, guide here um, in order to kind of go ahead and funnel this slug into the track where it needs to be, so or into the, the mass gate where it needs to be so that it doesn't uh, pop out. And then that also centralizes these uh, little wings on the tip so that it doesn't you know kind of go up and down like i was seeing before when i was sliding the slug through it was kind of popping out so hoping that these three pieces work um just so you guys know like something like this piece takes a little over an hour to print in fine mode you can print it really coarse and it, it comes out kind of crappy but just good enough you can see if it's going to work but you know so you know these three pieces took like a little over two and a half hours to print um, and you have to do them separately because if you do them all together what happens is the 3d printer will go from one to the next to the next and you won't end up with like a continuous piece um, of 
the uh, the material and they could potentially cause issues. So you print one, take it off, print the next one, take it off, and then you know start the third print. Um, there's other ways to do it, but that's just the way we chose. And I think we've got the uh, the material printing settings figured out. So this one's still got. You see, sometimes there's little hairs and stuff in there when they when it prints um, that we got to clean out. But anyway, I think we've got the settings figured out. We think I think we got it figured out enough where it'll work. So we'll see what it looks like. We'll snap it all together and go from there. Oh yeah, nice and snappy. So as you can see now, this has a fairly nice fit up here. And I hope I'm not proven wrong yet. So this isn't big enough for this to go in. So I know uh, I know it won't be big enough for it to come out. So anyway. There is a slight hiccup right here, um, but I, I am pulling on this thing pretty hard. I think in a normal situation when you're just straight into the wind, there's not that much you know, load. I mean, I'm, I'm probably pulling 15 pounds or so against it. I mean, quite honestly, I don't think there's that much load. I'm, I may be proven wrong here, but I think it's uh, it's worth trying this in a, in a real world environment, assuming everything else lines up. So. Because if I, if I just do a light pull, this thing goes through here no problem, not much of a hiccup. So the way the assembly of this thing would work is I'd, I'd snap this top one in, I could put the gooseneck in for the boom, then I could put this piece in, slide it down as far as it would go, and then this piece should, if I stacked it up right, which it looks like I did, that's crazy because nothing ever works out that great the first time for me. But, um, <clears throat> Then I'd snap this piece in, but wait, I need to make sure I put the slug in. So at this point, you'd feed the, you know, you'd have to have somebody to help you do this part. Hoist the main up, feeding all the slugs in, getting the sail up. And then you snap this piece in once you get all the slugs in. And so I don't really like how far back that sits, but that's uh, that can be adjusted. I can just put some sort of spacer against the back of it. Anyway. That's all three pieces in. As you can see, this one sits back just a little further, and I think it's because it doesn't have that neck guide. Um, so I may have to build something, you know, add something to this piece in the model to kind of keep it spaced out. But for the time being, I think this will work well enough. I can go test it. Um, and I have one spare of each of these. So I have one spare of this and then one spare of these that I printed. Um, I was a little bold in being that confident, but apparently it paid off. Apparently it paid off because it appears that this is going to work. So anyway, let's run this uh, mass leg through here and see what it does. Look at that. It does. I mean, I can feel some a little bit of a of a jump, but it's not so much that it's not so much that I think there's going to be a problem. Um, with hoisting the sail, like I said, you know, you're not going to be hoisting the main unless you're pointed straight into the wind. You're not going to be dousing it unless you're straight into the wind. So, uh, when it's straight into the wind, I do suspect that there's some sort of, uh, you know, load, uh, just cause it is flogging back and forth, but I don't think it's enough. You know, it's, it's probably not more than 15 pounds per, per, uh, little mass lug. So I, I think, I think this design's good enough to, you know, kind of take a break from from the design work and actually go sailing and test this thing out so we'll uh we'll get on the water and see how this thing works and i know for sure just like any other design work i mean there'll, there'll be improvements to be had but uh this will kind of get me get me started and i really like the way these end caps turned out the middle cap is really the only one i'm a little bit dissatisfied with but like I said I, I think it'll work good enough for for testing anyway um We'll see you guys at the dock. We'll uh, step the mast and do a little sail and test this thing out.
enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends.